shit never happened she before. Told, man. <laughs> yo yo it's life is old podcast i'm your man graffiti and good afternoon ladies and gentlemen it is davy coming at you on the ones and twos how you feeling brother i am feeling great how are you shit man i'm cooling i'm cooling welcome back welcome back i know we missed a week but we back and a lot of shit happened in that week bro what we got yeah um i would apologize but you know we're popping so this is just what comes with the lifestyle y'all with this nigga with this smooth jazz voice and shit yeah, coming up we have uh, life is dope dot shop hey hit that up buy you some gear get fresh yeah man it's a lot of shit on there too man we got backpacks phone cases socks shout out to the people get your baby a onesie all Tank that top ladies oh all that shit summer coming up hell yeah dad hats all that man so go grab some life is dope dot shop fast what's up bro what else we ain't giving no more free promo. Let's just let's get to the news. Oh, yeah, it, I mean, shout out to uh, Barrels. Shout out to Megafauna. Yeah. Oh yeah, that ain't free promo. Shout That's out to uh, uh, Rhino Supply. Yeah. Hey. Keeping the lights on here. But That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, man. So 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 uh, white lady snitching on everybody. Oh yeah. We, we meme that. meme of the week. You skipping to here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. How you feel about it? I don't even know if I want to. I didn't even know about the video until I seen you. Should we get into that. Yet? I seen you post it on Facebook. We should. We should lead into that. We're we gonna lead up. Yeah, we'll lead up. All right, all right. We'll because it is a series of white foolery. Mm, white foolery. One after the other, and we're gonna discuss it. Let's leave that for the Dave moment. We're gonna. We're gonna discuss it. Uh, new music that's out. Kyle. New music. Kyle is dope. I didn't want to like it, but Dave put me on, and I'm fucking with it. Graffiti said that I said that he was a dweeb. Dave definitely said that Kyle was a dweeb. But you know what, man? You know what bugged me out is that album is dope. And when did I Spy come out? At least. Y'all know we got ago. DJs in the building like two years ago. Yeah. Like two years ago, right? Yeah. And so, but like the album, you know, with the narration by Lil Yachty and all that, you could tell like the album was kind of done, mm-hmm. and they just now dropping it. That shit's kind of crazy when you think about it. So yeah, it has all. So you don't gotta of- rush music, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Drop that Light show of Mind by like- Kyle. There's features on it from Take Six, Two yeah. Chains, Alyssa Cara, uh, Avery Wilson, Kalani, Khaled, Lil Yachty. Hey, that Two Chains track hard too. Mm. That shit goes. DJs Man. get on that. That shit. Go- that shit's I cold. No Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I, I see. That's how I felt when niggas said, "Listen to Kyle." I'm like, "The fuck out here with Kyle, nigga!" Like, listen, no, no, no Kyle. Uh, I, we all felt the same exact way. We yeah, are not we like press play on that shit. We, we, are not, right. we are not Kyle stands. We're not Kyle Hive. Right, but man, shouts to Kyle. In case you in town, come through. Fuck with us. But this album is is hitting. Um, uh, Royce of Five Nine, Book of Ryan. That's my shit that I've been on. Yeah, Royce is so slept on, bro. Definitely his best album. You think? I think that's more M. Trash. Um, because <laughs> <laughs> Taylor hate everything. <laughs> hey, nah, man, y'all know I've been feeling a way about him lately, but I think I think he did he did it justice. He did he the did he did the Slim Shady shit. What's that hook? What is he talking the about? The Caterpillar. Yeah, what is that? I can't even tell you. I know. Um, know the remix got Logic, Logic on it. Mm. I can't get over the fact that Logic is biracial. I can't. I know that sounds crazy, but to me, Logic right. is white. You're part of the problem. Too. I am definitely part of the problem. My bad, Logic. Like, I watched the niggas. Uh, what's that? Rapture on Netflix. Listen, I respect people, them. Mixed people who, but like, I was white. like, man, bro, he's gonna do a remix and get some more white rappers on it. And I was like, this nigga not. Logic be saying nigga. No, he don't. He don't, he don't say anything derogatory because he a happy dude. But I don't know, man. Like he he fake happy. <laughs> he fake happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah or fake. His whole up. verse was about how he got to not push the whole biracial thing and just be a rapper. He was like, Cole told him, stop talking about black and white all the time. But to me, the nigga's just a, a white rapper, and I can't get over it. I mean, he's, he's, he's mixed. I know, man, but damn. He ain't real mixed. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is real mixed? He's a black he fake dominant mixed. gene. Man, if you, got, if you put some white paint and some black paint, it's going to be dark. So he's like mm. Mariah Carey mixed. Yeah. Okay. Mariah Dawson. Nah, nah, Mariah mixed though. Yeah, Mariah. I don't think we ever just called Mariah, Mariah. Carey white. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. I don't think we ever really called Mariah Carey anything. Mariah's just Mariah. Mariah, yeah, that's straight up. That's straight that's up. True. But shouts to him. What else dropped us? That's fire. Uh, I know we've been giving Post Malone a hard time, but his album is, it actually goes. It's dope. I can't Gear Bonds and Bentleys. I can't do it. My uh, my Boy, favorite. Take it over the world. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
they got to they got the culture on a lot. Kyle, right. Kyle, uh, <laughs> right. Kyle White, Logic, Logic. Yeah, yeah. Can we talk about somebody black? Ain't nobody black drop, nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We were from Royce and we got Eminem on the Royce shit. Then we got yeah. Logic. Yeah, man. Cole, but we talked about Cole already. Oh, right. Yeah, I know how we felt about Cole. Cole might be the best rapper out there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Cole yeah. might be the best rapper out there. Yeah, Cole might be the best rapper out there. Yeah, Cole might be the best rapper out there. Yeah, Cole might be the best rapper out there. Yeah, Cole might be the best rapper out there. Yeah, Cole might be the best and it better not be that shit where he's dancing like it was 04. No, 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 no,
How you living, bro? I'm living good, man. I, I'm living the best life I could live. We finally got you up here, bro. Oh, as a man, guest, it's been oh, it's been it's been long overdue. <laughs> this nigga told me one night he was like, "Bro, I wasn't. I'm not good enough to be one of the top 75, nigga." Man, y'all what, niggas what had 75 episodes, and I ain't in the top. It, it ain't no top, what bro. Episode are we like, on? What episode I got on? Shit, just for my record, hella. Don't don't tell the nigga so he can prove our point. No, I think this is one hundred eight. <laughs> Seventy. It's seventy something, nigga. We don't count. Damn. We just do seasons. This season two. Jeez. But but see, we get better with I'm the seasons, 77. man. So seven. You 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 you. Wow. You. That means a lot. You in a good season, man. That means a lot. You in a good I'm season. Episode seventy seven. That's a good number, bro. <laughs> and I think better like Juan. I was in the back for episode like three. <laughs> yeah, that nigga was. He <laughs> <laughs> was it. But we we got you in the building, bro. So yeah. for the people who don't know, who yeah. are you? What do you? Seventy seventh isn't the worst because we have the most fans now. Yeah, that's that what I'm saying. True. That's that why it gets better when you're on later because the, the following to be on gets bigger. Episode three, when like six yeah. people were listening. Yeah, I'm a originator. I could have, you know, but it's okay. I'll take seventy-seven. <laughs> yeah, I'll man, take seventy-seven. Man, for the people that don't this know, this dude's squizzy tater. Yeah, totally different. This man. nigga, man, see, this nigga popping. That's what happens when you popping. But hey. let people know who you are. What you do? Um, I'm Squizzy Taylor. I do a little bit of everything. A little DJing, a little promoting, a little rapping, a little singing. A little dancing. It's like, nah, I DJ, you know what I'm saying? And I make shit happen. I'm the go-to guy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. How long you been DJing? Uh, I think about six years now. I think we're going on six years. How long yeah. you been getting booked? Uh, About five years. Yeah. Five years, five. Maybe six. I came in the game kind of strong. You ain't in the game for a minute, though. Yeah, yeah. How you, how'd you get in the music game in general? And DJing or just, just involved in, in music? Uh, Trev, Trev Rich, AP, then my brother. So they kind of made me rap. Y'all know I started off rapping and shit, dancing. Yeah, the squeezy gang. Yeah, the whole squad. You so, was a dancing ass nigga. You still I be dancing like that? Uh, when that I'm on that shit? Julio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, really fucking with them. Started rapping, dancing, just doing anything to be involved in music. Then I finally found... What my calling was with the music, you know what I'm saying? While in college, so Word. I think I picked the right thing. Word. You went to Langston. Langston University. Right. Shout, Shout out to Lou. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Lou. Shout out to Lou. So you actually uh, educated? Yeah, man. I got a degree in accounting. You know what I'm saying nobody know that, but I, yeah. How about I say with your and degree? a kappa and a kappa? Yeah, See, I'm new. You know, yeah. Don't. See, don't let these uh, yeah, man. don't let these music people fool you and yeah. think that they just in the streets and just. You know, hood and doing dumb shit. Gotta like be smart. Like, dumb niggas don't make no money. Big facts. Get your education. Yeah. You said in accounting. Yeah. So that's what you was trying to pursue before the music took over. Uh, kind of. It was more of a backup plan. Yeah. And I was just happened to be good at it. So. What? That's what I went with. Yeah. You yeah. know, when you go to college, you don't really know what the fuck you want to do. Right. Right. So I kind of just picked it. You know what I'm saying? Not even knowing much about it. I just know I was good at math. So let's do the top thing in math. Right. And mm-hmm. it was that. Yeah. That's okay. what's up. And that's where you met uh, DJ Hollywood Cook? Yeah. Shout I was man. Cook in the building. One of the first persons I met, man, I kind of just got dropped off out there, and he kind of got dropped off out there. Met the nigga at the basketball court. We've been rocking ever since. What? My dog, yeah, about five years ago. Who, who's better at basketball? I'm I'm way better. I'll <laughs> 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 we'll tell you that. You know, but uh, my dog, you know, he tried. Speaking of basketball, <laughs> speaking of basketball, you are uh, you are an avid LeBron hater. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a hater like that, man. He's just not Kobe, mm. if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? LeBron's a great person off the court, but on the court, <laughs> he just he ain't got it like that. But off the court, he's an amazing person. He's he's an amazing fucking person. He does a lot. So I don't want to say that I hate LeBron as a person, but as a basketball player, <laughs> yeah. he ain't got it. I don't like losers, like. Right, <laughs> that nigga said I don't yeah. like losers. I don't like oh, losers. Man, this is tough. <laughs> you know, I, uh, am I? How am I wrong? I'm conflicted because I'm a Kobe fan too. Yeah, see, and I feel like when you ride for Kobe like that, like you kind of have to be anti-LeBron. Yeah, because they always try to put him. But I can't the deny the fact that the niggas a beast. But they're also from. But Jordan, Kobe, LeBron—they're also from different generations. There is some overlap, That's a fact. but they're different generations. There is no Absolutely. other LeBron right now. There's no Absolutely. one else we can even put in the conversation with Kobe and Michael. Right. True. That's that's true, but the Cavs we, we trash. Ke- we, uh, what Steph Curry, mm. Kevin Durant, KD, KD. Yeah, you gotta, say, you gotta man. say KD. 
Damn, I don't really even like KD, but he be he yeah, cool. same here. You gotta say KD. Um, shouts to uh, Lil B taking the curse off that nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> Changed his life. Oh, Lil B, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, since we on it, I mean, it's it's, uh, it's playoffs, hair, finals, all that shit. Who we got taking it? Mm. All of it. Warriors Who, taking all bets over here. Final forever. Uh, yeah, Warriors. It's a no brainer, and it's crazy because even though they like shook up the league and all that shit this mm. year, like it's the same four niggas everybody predicted that it was before going the be. season. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't want to see Houston and Celtics, man. That shit gonna be trash. If that happens, just please cancel the whole NBA. Yeah. I don't want to see that shit. That would be kind of trash. But what else is going on? Man, there's, there's tons of things going on. Uh, shout out to Meek Mill. He's free. He's home. Yeah. Shout out to Meek Mill. Oh, my God. Uh, Royal Wedding. How do we feel about that? Man, fuck that shit. Can we watch that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? My, my wife was watching that shit uh, like 4 a.m. in the morning. And Meghan Markle? No, nigga. I get the importance of it, I guess, because, you know, it's the prince he's marrying, a black woman. Oh, the girl from... Um, yeah, that she's, one movie she's real nice. yeah. No. yeah. Robin Thicke <laughs> Is that Robin Thicke Old chick Nah That's nah. Paula Patton <laughs> Oh <laughs> Let me find out oh, gosh. <laughs> It's Paula Patton Out here Then I don't care What movie was she She looked just like Paula Patton though right She no, she's in She's an uh, actress Suits She's in something yeah. I think it's Suits I don't know White people movies Megan Merkel Why was I saying Mark If she wasn't in No shit produced Megan. by Ice Cube I ain't seen that <laughs> <laughs> What you was about to say Was dope Producer Julius Oh, it was dope because they had this black preacher up in there. Yeah. Oh, really? So they had this black preacher up in the middle of the palace, you know, preaching to the queen. Yeah, yeah. And all the white folks were like, oh, my God, this is so cool. Oh, no, yeah, like, like that aspect was dope. That's what we do dope. every Sunday, you know yeah. what I'm saying? This is just about to have some potato salad we in the back. We just getting it in. Yeah, it's normal. But, yeah, man. That shit was dope. Damn, but, yeah. That happened this week? Yeah. That shit happened, like, this morning. Oh shit! But yeah, it was on London time, so I was probably asleep. Yeah, they was watching that shit like four a.m. Hell no, I was on Facebook or some shit, and everybody was checking in, watching the Royal Wedding at four a.m. Yeah, on Facebook, man, you know how I don't (laughs) fucking sleep. But uh, speaking of special events, how y'all feel about the uh, the Met Gala? I want to go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to go with that. Nobody feels the way. What do they do there? Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Like, I don't really. I, I, I know the pictures. I've seen carpet. people. I think it's just like a big, just fashion Illuminati charity. week. But what do Illuminati. they do once you go inside? That's what I'm saying. Well, know. Nobody knows. That's just a Illuminati meeting, we'll and then ask. niggas can't afford 20k tickets. So we'll have to ask Donald Glover. Man, yeah, this is America. How we feel about that? I. You want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. I give us your thoughts. That song. It's not that good. Mm. If you listen to the song without watching the video. But also, you hate everything. So we'll no, but listen. <laughs> but the vi- the visual, it's like the Freaky Friday with Lil Dicky and Chris Brown. Right, If you just right. listen to that song, it's like, bro, this shit is trash. Right. But when you watch the video, it's like, okay, I see. It's like a movie or something or a, a musical. I don't know what the fuck it's called. But right. that song, like, if you just listen to This Is America, it's not a good song like that. So when, so I, I feel a bit of the opposite because when it was okay. on a playlist, it just came on randomly in the car. I was like, oh. After you seen the video, after still, that's the thing because I said the same thing. Like, I was like if I didn't see this I video see this first, video, I probably be like, like, all right, this ain't called? the first song you want to drop. But it still, it still jams to but me. But with the video, it's amazing. It's dope. How do we feel about the uh, the white girl remix of This Is America? I think that shit trash, and I wish y'all never sent me that shit. <laughs> and I feel like white women need to stop hopping on everybody fucking struggles. Y'all good? Just be white women. That's all you gotta do in the world, and you are gonna be all right. What's she talking about? Like white struggle. White women uh, struggle like, like Women like Feminism, feminism Shit Yeah man Equal pay Let me see if I can find it just Let niggas have something Damn let man just, like, <laughs> Equal pay and a, Yeah All that type of shit <laughs> Let me not laugh That's <laughs> some <laughs> serious <laughs> Right <laughs> Everybody should be paid The same amount of money. <laughs> Equal pay <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you mean Good luck yeah, This nigga's problematic <laughs> hey. Damn man Here we go Here we go Oh, she made a video too? Yeah. What that in the Starbucks parking lot? The budget was crazy. No, nah, nigga, that's the same place. Look, first two seconds. They be bumping this shit at the crib. New shit! <laughs> Hold up. You can tell this nigga like this shit. Oh, you. Know. you. <laughs> I, I don't you see like how it. Bad he was able to pull it up? <laughs> right. Favorite. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't catch you oh. Don't catch you Say what? Nigga, stop with this other face. Talk to him. This is trash. Say what? We'll say North America. Which one? Look how we live in now. The boys will be tripping now. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, stop. Yeah, she's dead serious, man. Get her the fuck out of here. 
Uh, her name is Memer, and let's get her Nicole out of here. Nicole Barber. <laughs> She's a, I think, a Canadian comedian. Well, if you're a comedian, please, yeah, that please shit was funny. say comedian because that shit, that shit wasn't even funny, man. I'm about to say what was funny about that. I don't like her. I don't, like <laughs> I don't like that shit one bit. I don't like that shit one bit. So here's the thing. Let's get into it. Uh oh, we um, finna just get straight to it. Hold up, before because I know what you finna get to. Let's say that for the Dave moment. Let's get back to Squizzy real quick. Okay. Because Dave about to get racist. What? <laughs> like politically correct racist, not like my kind of racist. Let's do that first. We're gonna get racist first. Yeah. All right. Set the tone. <laughs> Set the, the tone, <laughs> nigga. Let's go. Yeah. Get yeah, to it, Dave. We here, nigga. Listen, if we're gonna struggle together, mm. then let's struggle together. Mm. Stop riding on the coattails Davey of, moment. of black struggle. Right. And then when it's time to actually pay the tab, y'all disappear. Mm. All right? I like that. That's because good. you know what? Black people were always here right. when it's time to march for women, men, uh, women's rights, women equality. When we're marching for children right. and guns. Right. We're marching for religious freedom, mm-hmm. gay rights. Black people are here for all of the struggles. But when it's time to show for black people, where they at though? Where y'all at? I feel that. I feel that. What is showing up for black people? What is that? Because I, I mean, we don't need y'all motherfuckers to show up unless y'all got a bag. No, we you. need y'all to show up. I, I think just the the numbers for one. But I mean, like for, for when we say when we say <clears throat> Black Lives Matter, don't don't return with the counter argument of All Lives Matter, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But I feel like we ain't showing up for them niggas. Like, everything you name, there's black people that are gay, so there's going to be black people at the gay pull up. There's uh, black women that go through equality, whatever, so black people going to show up. Right. We ain't going to no white rights type yeah, shit. Yeah, we definitely not at the yeah, tiki tour. we know white rights. <laughs> right. I'm saying, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> that's a Klan rally. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, going to a Klan rally. You're right. <laughs> but we show up because we involved in our own problems plus the regular nigga shit or regular people stuff. But we also show up because we, we realize that, you know, an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. Mm, that was good, David. Yeah. That's, that's true, that's but nah, good. Squeeze got a point, though, because I mean, I'm not showing up for that Starbucks shit. If they protesting because they, they're mad about Starbucks getting closed and it's a bunch of white soccer moms in the parking lot. But what the fuck not. what y'all talking about? But I mean, like, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I'm trying to figure that's out, like, why do we need but here's the thing, allies and, at this point in the game unless they financially uh, back in something or they got some guns? You're also bringing up a good point. It seems that the things that white people... Um, it's petty shit. Uh, yeah, protest is petty shit. Yeah, because right. they got freedom and money and all that shit. So they can only be mad about Starbucks. And that type shit. And, and red cups. Because whatever their actual struggle is, is it's like probably just some regular human shit. And not saying that exactly, not saying that white people don't don't struggle or go through right. things, but but at the end of the day, there's they're still the privilege of being able to um, bring a rifle to school and not mm. and, and no one actually address it or not get expelled. Right. Mm. Uh, man, imagine bringing a gun to school. I'm saying though, white privilege, I know some niggas that did, but yeah. imagine getting caught. White privilege is the privilege what? of being able to commit niggas mass like murders big and big. not be labeled a terrorist. Um, white privilege is the privilege of being able to commit terroristic acts, and the government turns a blind eye. Right. We have not seen any sort of legislation behind any of these mass killings, school shootings. Right. Now, if it was a brown person or a black person that did any of these things... We wouldn't get the chance to do it. We, we would get see shot soon we got out the damn car. We would see some legislation tomorrow. Right. Like, one nigga tried to light his shoe on fire, and now, on a plane, and now we have to take our shoes off at the airport. Right, right. We can't bring any water bottles on the airport. That was a nigga? No, no. Oh, oh. You know, it's like it the general nigga. It was a brown person. It was a brown person. But... <laughs> I feel you, but my my thing, I always like to play both sides. Mm-hmm. Say say Trump came mm-hmm. out tomorrow mm-hmm. and was like, "Yo, this is fucked up with that white person did, man. Fuck, that was fucked up." That'll never happen. But if he did, that what changes? Never right. What happens if he did? If they did, they acknowledge that okay, this white motherfucker fucking up. What does that change? That will, I can't even entertain that hypothetical. But he's right though. Like it don't change it don't anything. Change like y'all still gonna kill us? It's like okay, you <laughs> seen that it happened. Yeah. Nigga, it's still happening. People still died. Nigga, we still going through the same shit. Right. It's just the fact that he says something. It's like we want the nigga to say some shit that's not going to change anything. Yeah, we need action for real. We need action. 
So what's the what's the solution? That's what I don't know. It ain't no fucking march. Know. I think we keep marching, nigga. We've been marching for years, bro, yeah. and we still ain't getting shit. Hey, we had the Million Man March. That helped. No, what fuck, did it help? Fuck a march. What do you mean? What did it help? We have the civil rights. Our uh, feet hurt, nigga. We not marching no more. <laughs> if we marching, we gotta break some shit, and not yeah. our not our not own, our own shit. shit, man. We still, we still have to bring awareness to social injustice, even though we still have to bring awareness to it. True. We still have to let we still have to shine light on the fact that this is still happening in right. 2018. But we got to add to the march. Right. We can't just march That's where and I'm go at, home. man. Like we all like awareness is necessary and now everybody got a voice. So we're going to be aware of some shit. Yeah. But then we're going to forget next week and we're going to be on to the next shit. So the answer is to get involved politically. We have to make sure that we're paying attention to the primaries, not just the the national elect uh, national elections. Mm-hmm. We have to make sure that we're paying attention to city council. Mm-hmm. You know who's who's ending up on the city council because at a, at a state level that decides you know where a lot of the the money is going in the the state legislation. Right? Yeah, I think we need to apply for them. instead of paying attention. Let's go get them motherfucking jobs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's create because that's what I'm about to do. Right, real shit. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, I thought they were going to talk some shit. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Go do it, bro. Yeah, that's how I feel, man. Not I feel we got we to gotta get in there. I feel you like we got enough people with voices and ambition and just people that go after what they want to do in yeah. our culture, like especially when it comes to music and entrepreneurship and all that shit. We go hard at something. But yeah. we be going hard at the wrong at shit. At the wrong shit. So, if niggas put the same energy we put in the music and the getting them jobs, boy, we'd actually be somewhere. Right. Right, you know right. What I'm so I mean, that's that's the action. Like marching and all that is cool, but man, march all ass to go really do be, some shit. Yeah, man. Hey, keep marching. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, how do y'all feel about the uh, the white lady calling the police on the dudes barbecuing? And I, think that, was, I think that shit was hilarious. That was hilarious. It's the best memes I've seen in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. She was literally dressed like an adult hall monitor. She was. Uh, <laughs> She was so mad though, right? Yeah. Like, can you imagine? And they they were some good dudes, cause you know if that was Man, me, like, I yo, wouldn't even a while. I, I'd have just been. We would have been roasting her. Like, yeah, she would have got like, roasted the fuck. It'd have like, been a whole different type of like, video. You don't get your Terminator shades out of here. <laughs> Why did you like do her like started that? crying? Right. <laughs> when she just flipped the whole shit. Like, I feel what she said. I feel uh, attacked. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. But when the cop asked right. her, like, yeah. to pull up the thing, did you see that shit when the cop was talking to her and he was like, do you know the whatever, the law or the whatever? And she just had that shit on deck and her yeah. Like, yeah. damn, you, this shit was pre planned or what? So was she actually right? Was he not allowed to barbecue? I mean, it's not about whether she was right or not. Yeah, she it's was about, wrong for the record. She was, she was wrong for the record, right? Yeah. That's what I thought, too. She was allowed to... I, I think they were allowed the right to barbecue, zone. but I think there were specifically, like, charcoal designated yeah, areas. Charcoal. Uh, but who gives a who fuck? Gives like, a like fuck. why do you care? And then she really, like, kept going. Like, yeah. I would have just bumped out. As soon as y'all start recording mm-hmm. me, I'm like, all right, yeah, y'all yeah, niggas got this. it. Hand me a hot dog. Like, just... <laughs> like, only because, like, I've experienced stuff like that where people just... Are just so I understand that there are rules, yeah. and the purpose of rules is to you know for people's safety and things like that. But it's like, come on, they was chilling, mm-hmm. man. Some like, family shit. I like that it was a white girl recording. She was going hard on that. Video. Yeah, yeah. That's she was what, going hard. See, that's, that's so when we yeah. talk about allies. That's what we need. Like that's what showing up. Actually, yeah. Yeah. pay yeah, attention yeah, yeah. to in, okay. an injustice and, and actually show up. Right, 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 right. Shout out to her. Yeah, nobody know her name, no, huh? We giving all the bitches who did the wrong shit credit, <laughs> right. and not the one that did. That's another problem we have in America. Yeah, we yeah. will shine light on some negative shit, and the motherfucker that do something good, we don't know who the fuck they are. Right. Well, she should be on the fucking meme. That's a good point. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? But we didn't see her face. <laughs> but I mean, like, we should, we should we should be know who it was. That person. Yeah. Shout she out made to this so-and-so. bitch famous. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we she, make all the trash shit famous. Yeah, she definitely looked like every uh, snitch. Yeah. <laughs> shopper. Right. Shit, man. We got we got yeah. we got a lot of shit that we need to work on in the culture. But you working in general, bro. You, oh man, thank you, man. You moving, you moving. I'm trying to be legendary. Or I could be the mayor. You know, so you told us all the songs that you hate. What's what are the songs <laughs> popping right now? Um Your go to's in the club. In the club? Uh let me think, let me think, let me think. The hottest shit in the club. Boom. Uh Cardi B. Her shit be going, you know. Girls love Cardi B right hey, now. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, all that shit. Just all her shit now, cause before it's Bodak. Now she. Yeah, all that shit. It, yeah. it honestly, it's not. I expected when she dropped all her shit to be like Bodak. 
Yeah. They, the way they hype the album, but when you're in the club, they not really feeling that shit as much as you think. They feeling it, but it's like it's not that Bodak reaction. Yeah, right? it's just like I like Cardi B type shit. Right. But that that Spanish song is probably the biggest one. Yeah, you know that, I like it like that. But um, that plug walk, rich the kid. Um, I don't even understand how the my plug talk. Yeah. Um, oh, look, they looking at me, man. They like if you don't say the right <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 help me, help me, help me. I'm on the spot. It's early. <laughs> NBA Youngboy probably got the hottest song in the Shout out to DJ Hardaway in the building as well. Yeah, uh, come outside. NBA Youngboy, you heard that one? It's hard. No. Nope. I ain't going outside today. Yep. I'm having the camera. No, I'm having to fuck with it. Country ass shit, but it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's going hard. Little, baby. Little baby's going hard in the club. That stunt? Oh, that stunt, man. That let's, boy, that let's boy. Talk, let's let's talk Taylor. about that. Is, Woo! Man. Stunt. Stunt, man. You that just was. dropped it. What is it? Stunt How did it come about? Was me and um Sayari been cool for a couple years. Sayari the kid, shout out to him. I met him at Proof mm-hmm. on some random shit. He was just with a chick. Wasn't even supposed to be here, wasn't booked. He was on some shit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna say who it was, whatever. And the nigga just came to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> that nigga said who it was. <laughs> no, no, he wasn't on that. That was okay. that was the second time he All came right, out man. here. First time he was here with somebody, uh, <laughs> a booking, you know what I mean? He was just here and he came to me like, yo, I'm sorry, the kid. He was hella humble, hella cool. And I'm like, damn, nigga, I fuck with you, nigga, your shit's hard. Yeah. He was like, bro, you the first nigga on the West Coast, like, really to know who the fuck I was, you know what I'm saying? And we just, we chopped it up. Then when he came out here, he was on the tour with somebody. I don't remember what show it was. And I just hit him up randomly, like, bro, how much you charge for a verse? And he's like, man, for you, I got you. Low price, whatever it was. Went to the studio that night. With Trev, Doobie was there, AP was there. A lot of people was there. That song was really like five, six minutes long. Mm-hmm. I had to cut it down and shit, make it a club record. But did the whole shit. And we did the song about six, seven months ago. Some shit happened with the beat. We couldn't figure out who the producer was. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up. I'm sorry, whoever you are. <laughs> but because I just had some beats in my email, I remember I asked you for some beats that day, yeah. and we ended up picking this <laughs> random ass. <laughs> I just feel back on me. Bro. Yeah, my fault, my fault. But we ended up picking this random ass beat that it, it worked. You know what I'm saying? But that shit, we couldn't figure out who it was, so we couldn't get the stems to mix it. So we had my dog Shark remake the beat, which took forever. And now I just felt with my birthday shit. Let's Time let's drop. Let's, let's just try it. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of songs, but I've always been. I, I'm not in that lane, so I was always nervous to. Just right. put the shit out You know what I'm saying I ain't know how to do it What to do So I really Like a month ago Planned like Fuck it I'm gonna just try this shit bro. Yeah. I put some money behind it I did all that Did it the right way So now that I got that out the way I know what I'm doing now So I got more shit coming Right, right. So, so what's kind of like Your overall goal In this music industry Cause I know that I mean you and I We've had conversations about it So you don't mm-hmm. want to just be Boxed in as a DJ What all mm-hmm. is it that You know that you're doing That you want to do Man, honestly, I want to be like, like Diddy. <laughs> it <laughs> makes sense. That's like the ultimate goal, man. I want to be a A and R. You know what I'm saying? I talk to a lot of labels and shit. I want to be an A and R, and I want to get to the point where I'm high enough that I can call the shots to shine light on not the major cities. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Not even just Denver, but like I feel there's probably somebody dope as fuck in Iowa. Or, right. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere random. And they will never get the light of day because they're not in the, the four major outlets, if that makes sense. Right, right, You know what I'm saying? Right. But I feel talent is talent. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. And I feel like when you find somebody from somewhere new, that's where the real money comes. Like when Nelly popped up, right. St. Louis made a fucking killing. Or, you know what I'm saying? When somebody from somewhere different than Atlanta or New York or something. So I really want to do that, make a whole lot of money doing it. And... I don't know, bro. I just want to make money while I'm asleep with music. That's real. That's the goal. You can't do that as a DJ, really. And you're right. not just a club DJ either. You're also a radio DJ. Yeah. Uh, talk about it. How'd that come about? Um, They hit me up. Cast on Child, Cast on Sound. Can I say it again? Cast on Sound 5. We can say it again. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're all right now. Yeah. I mean, they hit me up. They just, they. it was more on some, man, we want to win uh, Victor, the new the new head man over there. Yeah, shout, yeah, out shout out to Victor. Shout out to Victor Starr. When he came in, he uh he wanted to freshen it up. He felt like it was becoming, or it was, honestly, we all know the truth, too robotic and too just follow the rules, do this, do this, do this. Right. And they were going down. You feel what I'm saying? So they reached out to the streets with me, Top Shelf, uh, 5-8, and some other people I can't think on top of my head, but they wanted to get closer, back closer to the streets and to the culture, you know, right. and 
you go get black people when you want to do that. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> straight like that. <laughs> yeah, right. it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. So, you know, that's how that, that was a year ago, about or a year and a month now. I yeah. seen that the other day, yeah. So that's been cool. We still, you know, and Victor's open to ideas. That's why I like it. We haven't put them ideas to action yet, but he's very open to trying Yeah, shit. very open. Yeah, shout out to him. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then even just cool. from a DJ perspective, I think what sets you aside is that you're not just a DJ out here just getting booked for a couple of gigs. Oh, like the party no. speech. You can't Quizzy book Taylor me. Party. You like, can't book me. Shout out my brother <laughs> DJ Hollywood Cook, man. My, <laughs> it's hard to book me, man. You got to come with that bag open. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I feel, if we want to get into it, I feel like that's how it should be because Agreed. there was a time where the promoter was more important than the DJ. Honestly, I lived that time. I partied in that time. But now people mainly decide where they want to go by who's DJing, mm -hmm. if that makes it's sense. It's always been that way, to be honest. Well, I didn't know that. I yeah. figured that out and cook open my eyes to that. But you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it was like if these motherfuckers want to come to see me, I should be the one getting paid for these motherfuckers coming here. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And not That's real. letting somebody else get paid off my name. You feel Drawing what I'm saying? Power. Yeah, right. so, right. so we started a, a company, Higher Power. Me, Cook, and Kevin Kane, we needed, you know, Kevin Kane does a lot. The vet, he, yeah. yeah, we need a vet to show us the ropes and shit. So we started a company and just tried to take the control in our hands and make it happen that way instead of right. getting booked for $200 when this nigga getting the whole percentage of everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I want that percentage. I think that's I'm dope, man. Yeah. I've been saying that, and it, it's it's hard to walk that line. Cause shout out to all my promoter homies. Yeah, y'all need to pay my bills for years. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. Yeah, nigga. yeah. But um, it's 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 this thing, man. Like I tell talent all the time, cause he'll get mad. Like niggas will hit me all the time. Mm -hmm. Just like, man, I'm trying to get on shows. I'm trying to. I don't know who to hit in the city to yeah. do this and that at the club. Like, help me get in the right direction. I'm like, man, do that shit. Do it by yourself. yourself. Do it. You know, like all you're gonna do is call a promoter, and these niggas gonna call the club, mm -hmm. and it's this whole chain. Yeah. Just now call the club. The, or yeah. You <laughs> at the bottom of the feet of the yeah. totem pole now. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, if you rapping and you the performer, and you want your crowd to come. They are gonna come see you. Mm -hmm. The promoters just gonna get it in people's face. So. Exactly. Especially with the DJs. I, I always feel Man. like whatever DJ is hot or whatever DJ is really moving around, mm -hmm. that's what party is popping. Yeah. Right, so on everything. Yeah. You gotta you just gotta have that control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that, that makes you last longer too. You right. feel what I'm saying? When you become a promoter, like I ain't gonna be hot forever, but I'm gonna be in the position to put uh, DJ Hardaway on You right. know what I'm saying? And right. put other DJs on and teach them how to do that shit so it don't go back to a promoter and now we back in the same Right. Same fucking spot, not making no money. Right. Mm, so, what are your probably biggest pet peeves as far as DJing? Um, Dang, from said, like the I ain't said pet peeves in a minute. I was yeah, saying, hit <laughs> me with a real question. Um, <laughs> pet peeves, like requests, the DJ booths, requests. I hate requests. They're never good. Right. It's like you play us. Never uh, good. Gangsta Paradise. It's right either, after you play this two chains. It's either something like that, like <laughs> some fucking Coolio, Did like some <laughs> random. Or something that niggas know you're gonna play. Like, don't come request Bodak Yellow right. a year ago, or whatever the hottest song is right Bushy, now. Man. Like, don't come request God's Plan by Drake. Right. Like, of course I'm gonna play that shit. Right. Like, it's gonna be at the perfect time when I play it. Don't come request that shit at 10:30. Yeah. It's gonna get played. Like, I hate that. It's either that or some dumbass song that you know I'm not gonna play. Right. It's all niggas in here, and you want to hear Madonna. Like, no, <laughs> fuck with me. I hate that shit. But request. Um, I don't care about people being around me. Cold Crush really changed my whole mindset because you know how Cold Crush used to be Just twenty stuck niggas in that, in that little ass yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always go back to when Kanye was doing the shit in Madison Square Garden. It was hundred niggas behind him. That's yeah. how I be like. So I don't even worry about that. Just don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? You could be all around me. Just leave me alone. But <laughs> yeah, just don't, or at least stay off my scratching side. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, I hate that. Um, what else, man? I hate when the sound isn't good. I hate DJing in clubs when it don't when it don't hit right. Right. Cause right. I gotta feel the music. I like to be in the. I like my shit. Oh, fuck. I like my <laughs> shit real loud. So I hate clubs where the sound sucks. That's that's probably that's the biggest pet peeve. If the sound system is trash, I yeah. do not want to be there. You get a lot of people trying to get you to play their music. Oh yeah, I was about to say I don't like rappers either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And the reason I don't like rappers. 
in the club setting is because I feel like I'm there. My job there is to entertain the customer. Right. So if a, if a customer comes and asks for your song, I feel like it's wanted. If you come ask for your own song, it's not... I don't mean the people want it. You feel right, what I'm saying? Right. And this ain't this ain't a, a charity. Like I'm doing the job at the end of the day. So I always tell rappers like, nigga, if your shit is that hot, how you think it is? Somebody else is gonna come request that shit. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? And that's starting to happen more because the the local scene getting better. Mm -hmm. So random ass people are coming up. Yo, can you play that Ray Reed? Can you play that Trevor Rich? The AP? The Trace? Whatever the case. The David Bo or uh, Av. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck you put right. that out. This nigga got eight names. You feel what I'm saying? But Yo, you call me Avgrim, we might be fine. Yeah, I didn't. I stopped. I stopped. Av Emmy. Oh shit. So you know what I'm saying? When the customer asks for it, I feel way more obligated to play it because I yeah. know it's wanted. I'm not just gonna play your shit because you the homie. What if they offered you some money to play some bullshit? Because I see people do that all the time. Yeah, I get pissed off. I wanted to start doing that, but cook. Cook was the one to tell me, like, nigga, nah, our brand, our, 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 right. our, our, our what we're doing, our uh, vibe, whatever the fuck the word is you always use, is more important <laughs> than that little money. Because we're going to spend that money on some dumbass shit anyway, so right. fuck that money. So what about the counter argument of, of DJs having the responsibility of breaking records? I feel that, but I feel in 2018, records are broke on the internet now. Facts. Big like, facts. the DJs broke records back then because that was the only way you could hear it. Okay. Now we don't make shit pop, nigga. Y'all, the customer makes it pop on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you our job is just to reflect, hear. yeah, to yeah. reflect what they want to hear. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you you do want to <clears throat> be the first and try to break shit, but nigga, the internet's gonna tell you what's hot and what's not. Yeah. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Because right. everybody gonna hear it. And there's enough resources too that I think rappers have access to to be able to make their own shit pop. Exactly. And I know these niggas, bro. They just want some hoes. Right. <laughs> that's all it's for. Hey, man, they want a, attention. Like they that's don't a good care segue, about. Because I have my question next. Yeah. Black men don't cheat. Oh man, we never have. <laughs> we going on what fifty years now? I'm not cheating. <laughs> we we knew that. Yeah. Black people only been around fifty years. No, I'm saying we, we used to cheat. We used to cheat back okay, in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah this King new this new generation of you know we we black cut that out. Cheat. He's yeah. Like, the game, hey. <laughs> I mean, while well, the game had all the hoes, but um, they say DJs got all the hoes, man. You want you what? Wanna, you want to speak they on said that? that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to? You want to put that rumor to rest? Who the fuck said all that? The laughing, <laughs> all the DJs, nigga, like damn, that nigga said it. They laughing uh, all cool and shit too, like uh, 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 damn, nigga, uh, yeah, keep they, it moving. They do. Uh, man, I feel first like time hearing this. I feel like nigga grabbed the drink. Take a little sip. Uh, <laughs> my my words go. <laughs> I feel like. That's that's hype. That's cap. My young niggas would say no because cap. I feel we don't have the time to get the hoes in the club. Mm. Like if I get the hoes, it's on the internet after the party or the next day or when I post a nice picture. You know <laughs> For real, no, nah, I'm being honest because I in the you. club. <laughs> In the club, we working, we setting the vibe for everybody else to get the hoes. I don't got no time to bag no bitch. I'm, I'm in my computer. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing my shit. But there be bitches around, but that be for all the homies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's been... There's, other, there's people that's been up there. I don't know your situation and shit. I don't know but, why I got pulled in. Yeah, this. but I'm saying, like, niggas have been around. There be girls behind me and shit. That's for the homies. That's for the entourage. Not the entourage, but that's for the homies to, right. to get on. I'm not... I can't concern myself with them hoes. I'm here to do a job. Perfect answer. These yeah. are here to do a job. You feel what I'm saying? But black men don't cheat, man, and, it, and it's, it's sad. <laughs> we ain't buying none of that shit. It's sad that <laughs> right. that these women are doing us so bad, man, and I, I don't like it, man. Speaking of like, it, bro, man, I had three people on? comment after you said that you got that message about being on Life is Dope. Mm -hmm. This nigga pretty much asserted himself on the show. Yeah, I man, I had it. to, man. It was hard. <laughs> nigga booked himself. get in and here somewhere like, or another. Squizzy gonna be talking about black men don't cheat. Yeah. Man, talking about women, so now I feel like we gotta talk about it. I mean, it's just sad. The women out here these days, man, they treat us so bad. They treat us like a piece of meat, man. And I'm not here nice for picture. it, man. Yeah, like, like if they want to fuck, they just, you know, they're trying to fuck. And you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's disrespectful. I feel like we're more than that. We're educated, strong black kings. That's right. Talk and about it. And we should be treated as such. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know, we enjoy it's, conversation. It's a, yeah, and, like, and talk to me. Talk to me. Take, you know what I'm saying? Let me take you on a date. Like, don't just try to come to the house and get fucked. Like, let's go eat. Let's go to the movies. None of that happens no more. You know what I'm saying? And They just savage out here. They just savage, bro. And it, it's sad. Yeah, I want to get back to the 
essence, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, women out here cheating and doing all kind of wrong, and it's sad. So for the for the you know? ladies out there watching this right now, how do they approach DJ Squizzy Taylor if they really trying to holler at him and not just treat him like a piece of meat? Oh, man, I wouldn't even know, man. Shit. It's hard out here. Um, well, you said the internet, so just like, slide DMs. Just go on, slide in the DMs. Nah, that that's normal. Like like eighty pictures. I want you to. Nah, don't ever do that. I hate that. Y'all like that? <laughs> that's so. Funny. I can't relate to none of this shit. I don't like, even I'm have IG. Oh yeah, you love married. It. Yeah, you this got nigga the right here to want to talk to. Yeah. I don't even have IG, so I don't know what y'all talking about. But you ain't got no IG. This nigga is that man. a thing? This nigga here, bro. <laughs> Oh, I ain't no shit. Um, right, man, but nah, let them know because they they watching. They, I, I, like, oh. Hey, nobody want to talk about it. That's I don't know, man. I, um, everybody just eyes just trailing away. Like, you know, what? Married? Everybody married? Nah, I ain't married at all. Nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, this between sub- y'all and the people watching. Yeah, it's summertime, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's summer. Y'all here, squeezy, hey, squeezy hey, pocket right now. Seventy-five degrees, hey man. Because you know it's probably that one chick sitting day. back like I don't, I don't just don't want to, I want to holler at you for real. Yeah, so. I mean, just come original and come with a <laughs> with a conversation. Think yeah. about the last time you wouldn't know. Think about the last time you just had a good conversation. <laughs> Think about the last time. <laughs> no, I'm just saying you don't deal with these regular. Problems you yeah. were blessed to find somebody to you know what I'm saying. The rest of us is out here struggling. Hey, so, <laughs> but I say just come original with a with a regular conversation. Intrigue me outside of you looking good. Like yeah, let like that be a bonus. Yeah, introduce that you look yourself. Good. Bro. Yeah, just just have a conversation. Let's talk about. Let's talk how we talking right now. Right. That's the best type of chicks, and usually yeah. the only ones that could do that is the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to bring it all full circle Yeah bring it full circle Listen Listen hoes. What kind of nigga logic is this Listen hey, man, listen, listen I got, listen. It. I got yeah. it The people gonna understand me I know yeah. these niggas feel me Hoes Niggas ride it all the way back And it makes listen, sense Go listen, ahead Listen 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 Hoes Are great at talking Are the best people to talk to The hoes will be your best friend They're the coolest people And that's cause they've been around A lot of niggas They that, know what we like A hoe will sit up A hoe will sit up And watch the game with you tonight you know what I'm saying? And talk to you, hit the hit the drink with you, chill. Like then we just kicking it. I know we gonna. You know what I'm saying? But the bougie, the good girls, they don't. They've been so fucking bougie and been looking. The they don't have no conversation. Skills. They don't have the. the but a hoe been around. She know how to talk. <laughs> she just kicking. It. Yeah, she just yeah. kicking it. She know how to kick it. So when you find that balance of a good girl but know how to hang out and talk, you get married. Yeah. That's real. So you feel turn, what I'm saying? So turn a hoe into a housewife. No. <laughs> what? That's, what that's what you got from all that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm saying it's hard. The good girls need to learn how to communicate, how to just be cool and don't rely on just being pretty. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So the good girls are trash then? I'm not going to say trash. They just lack other qualities besides they look. Well, the, then which the good, one do you marry? Said, the good girls need to get around. Nigga, that's hoes. why we're not married. We don't. We don't know. <laughs> you don't know the answer. Don't know the answer. Trapped in the cycle, not nigga. Yeah. Man, that was the hot take, though. You feel me, saying? Y'all feel me? Yeah, man. Know they feel. Quincy <laughs> Taylor, <for> president. <laughs> <laughs> what else, bro? What's what's on your mind, man? What's some shit that Squizzy want to oh, get man, off? I just told just... you. Um. <laughs> 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 um. Shit, man. Cause you out here moving, bro. We 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 respect it too. We gonna yeah. say that all the time. Oh, right? thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. seventy seventh nigga out here niggas. getting it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at seventy seventh place. Seven, number it's seven. Not a, seven. It's not a ranking. Seventy seventh place of niggas out here getting it. I appreciate the love. I feel bad for them. I have work to nigga do. Yeah. Like you gotta think about it. The later in the show, the better. It's I don't not, wanna say the better. It's not ranked. But everybody pop. The episodes not, aren't ranked. It doesn't yeah. matter. Whatever. Nigga. We're I've known you niggas forever. Forever. And the seventy seventh nigga that y'all thought of, like we should have him on the show. That would be good. But no, we... I'm, I must. I'm just not working hard enough. You know, maybe I'm not in enough drama. Yeah, you know. I should have started like a a beef or something. Y'all would have me on this bitch. The DJ's beef. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cook said hell. Cook said hell yeah, that nigga. Yeah, yeah look, right. man. who y'all beefing with? We ain't beefing with nobody. <laughs> y'all ain't get no, y'all ain't get no headline. That was true beef. nigga shit. Everybody said yeah. It was like nope. <laughs> it's, it be a little beef. It be a little beef, and it, it's usually it just over be on some like some boogie some money type shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, like niggas be low balling. Like if I if I you know. Say I wanted to come do this show in the, for the seventy seventh episode. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody might rush in and try to do the seventy six for a cheap price or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's just like mm. niggas just be trying to just All do right. whack shit. It happens. So we'll keep an eye out to see who's doing whack shit. Yeah. Oh, there's, no, a, there's whack so shit. much whack shit going on, man. That's why you gotta get off Facebook. That's what I was gonna ask. How do you feel about 
when the opening DJ plays all the hits. Ah, it's terrible. It's terrible, but at the same time, the only way you learn how to be an opening DJ is to do it, if that makes sense. Like, a nigga that's trying to get in the game, he gonna play the hits, because all he's thinking is, how can I get popping? Right. You feel what I'm saying? So he gonna play all the hot shit and hope that somebody's like, yo, he was fucking way better than the, the headline DJ. You know what I'm saying? I used right. to do the shit. So, it, <laughs> oh, okay, there it, we go. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens, but you know, over time, you learn how to how to entertain a crowd without the hits. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you become a dope DJ because right. you get way more love for that. Speaking of, so what is it that you feel the Squizzy Taylor brand brings to the DJ environment that separates you from all the other DJs? Uh, talking, talking. Don't nobody talk like me. I feel everybody kind of play the same music. Everybody, everything. Everybody know what's hot. But I'm going to make it memorable by the shit that I say. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make you. I got a thing where every night I make you hug your best friend. You heard me do that yeah. shit. You're going to make sure the people around you know that you love them. I'm going to make you tell them that you love them. I'm going to make you niggas dance together. I'm going to make you get away from your friends and go find you some pussy for the night. <laughs> I'm going to do all that shit, you know what I'm saying, during the night, and I feel like that shit separate me because it's going to be memorable. Like, if it's your right. birthday, you're going to remember Squizzy Taylor made sure I had a fucking blast on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? It was an experience. Squizzy Taylor experience. Squizzy Taylor experience. And I feel the people, they appreciate that shit, and obviously it's working. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just up there just playing records. Like, I'm right. making every record mean something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Word, 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 word. Even though it's, most of them is trash records. I mean, when we was young. <laughs> nah, but when we was young, like, when, say, Usher come on, it take you to a time. Like, if an old oh, Usher, it take you to a time you remember this moment. Like, damn, I remember when this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it yeah. just bring back memories. I try to do that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? In 10 years, somehow you going to remember, I mean, when I first heard March Madness, you know what I'm saying, and, yeah. and Epine or whatever the case may be, and how I felt, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to create them moments because KDJs do that for me, Tona, all them, and I remember them moments like right. when fucking Laffy Taffy came on and some dumbass shit, you know what I'm saying. Right, like man, right. I remember being at reggae on the roof trying to dance and shit when my Dougie came on. Like yeah. I want to create them moments for other people. Straight up, straight up. So, so with that being said, what's next, Squizzy Taylor? Oh man, I'm trying to drop an album. I got another single coming next month. Okay, it's some nice little reggaeton type shit. Who are some uh, Who are some features that we can look forward to hearing? Um, I got Tripper Jones on Sounds that next good. one. Hopefully, um, <laughs> I got a I got a track with a uh, A Measy. You know what I'm saying? The squad, of course, Trev, AP, Doobie. Um, I'm trying to get some shit with Kayla Ray. She, if you're listening to this, I've been trying. Cause I, I feel like that'd be dope as hell. Taylor Ray definitely listens. His Squizzy yeah. Taylor, man, I what? want one. I've been asking her. Um, Check Kayla out on the uh, previous episode. episode. Oh, she was on here last. Seventy six. Oh, <laughs> so I'm right behind Kayla. Huh? Why you couldn't just okay. let that shit breeze, man? I'm right behind Kayla. She, she do summer jam and shit. Let okay, that shit breeze. Homie. See, she did the summer jam. I'm not doing. Okay, I see what's going on. What else? What else? Brother? I what see else? what's going on. Who else on, was on that album? Yeah. Okay. I think we're just gonna call this episode just episode seventy. I mean, to be honest, everybody episode that nigga name seventy. Everybody that nigga that's been on here already. Been on the show. Yeah, I'm behind all them. That's why I'm trying to get these features. I'm obviously not working hard enough. It's not behind. It's beside. Nah, bro. I'm it's behind. lateral. Okay, the, nah, the nigga. When it's when it's a number, numbers go up. It's not <laughs> behind. But you, all right, you got the new album about to drop. <laughs> yeah, we we'll talk about that. Talk of the music, nigga. We about to we about to wrap it up. Yeah, um, the album coming. That should be good, man. I, I just locked in the new night at Dorchester. Word. So me and Hollywood Cook doing Dorchester now. It's an amazing club. Mm-hmm. I hope you come check it out. It look like some out of town shit. It's mm-hmm. probably one of the best clubs that they allow black people in. in <laughs> best the history, way to play, most definitely. In the history of Colorado. <laughs> I can't think of a nicer club that they really gonna allow us to <laughs> 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 I'm dead ass serious. That bitch is dope. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm very I'm looking Straight forward up. to that. We call it a circus. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be a very good look. Um that I'm traveling way more. Got, um it's a blessing I've been getting booked out of state, you know what I'm saying? Because that that's what makes you bigger here also. So mm-hmm. that that does separate me as well. Getting booked out of town. Cause Denver when they see you do something out of state, nigga, they love you way fucking more here. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a follow me state, which sucks, but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. So I got some shit coming up, Miami, San Diego, uh, Austin, a couple other places, but Moving. that's good too, yeah, for sure. 
Oh yeah. Working hard. What's up with y'all niggas? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas doing? Niggas ask me uh, all the questions. Uh, I'm glad you asked, nigga. This is the part where we plug our shit before we yeah, wrap up. Yeah, man. What you doing? Who's going first? Um, definitely hop on that life is dope. Shop and buy some shit. Oh, yeah. uh, fuck with us at this Loud Pack tour. That's Thursday, May 24th. Loud Pack tour. We'll be hosting alongside our man Kingdom. And uh, that's A. Measy and Mr. Midas. Midas, no mister, my bad, bro. And then uh, a bunch of dope people want to line up on that. Mm -hmm. Um, We got a lot of other little hostings and shit popping up. What you got? Uh, uh, Adele Mitchell about last night is out now on all the streaming platforms. Also, check out that new Av Emmy, Waste Time With You. That shit fire. That shit is hard. That shit fire, man. I Uh, need to meet that nigga. Yeah, he be be a dope interview, man. Mm -hmm. That nigga, he should have been on before Squizzy. Yeah, he should have been 77. (laughs) (laughs) I'm working harder than somebody Stay tuned I'm gonna let him know you said that Uh, Hey man but yeah It's also lateral (laughs) Y'all stay tuned man Y'all keep up with us Keep up with Squizzy Cook The whole gang man The whole squad man moving out here Shout out to black people I'm for all black people doing shit For sure That's the thing man I was, but he had a lot of knowledge, so oh, okay. I was like, shit, man, no, that was good enough. Whatever, man. I, I ain't going to invite me back. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah this is the one and only thing. Yeah, ask me whatever you want to do. This shit. 77, I'll be back on the 177th episode. <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> we we going to say that nigga for like 277. Yeah, basically. Um, one, one piece of word of advice, knowledge, love, whatever it is, sum up. You going to give it to me? You oh, give I'm it to a, the world. Oh, Nigga, tell me something good you first. You tell podcast? us, nigga. Shit. Oh. See, the nigga don't listen. Yeah. Mm. Cause I don't be on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I listen now. Shit. <laughs> I got a new fan. I'm gonna subscribe. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but nah. We ain't uh, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga did not come back. <laughs> nah. Man. Uh, piece of advice for the world. Um, shit, man. This is like the rainbow shit. Yeah, on, this is uh, the rainbow. On uh, that one show, I'll be watching that shit. I watch that. I've been watching. Nope, it we don't watch that. Oh yeah, okay, it's complicated. Nah, I'm watching. Nah, I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah. uh, um, shit. Can y'all go first? We do this shit some, every day. Well, y'all, do y'all do one every week? Nigga, we do. This is us. Life is dope. Okay, that's well, tagline. That's yours. What's yours? That's mine. Give me time to think. Mm. See, you see how hard it is. This nigga couldn't think of one either. It is pretty hard because I've given so many. I, I gave y'all. Uh, what did I give y'all? I gave y'all an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. That was a oh, hard. that was good. You know what? I got one. Fuck. It was inspired by uh, some shit J Cole said in that interview with Angie Martinez. So I said, J Cole, um, I want to say find a way to take your power back. Mm. You know what I mean, because a lot of us lost our power without realizing it, especially mm-hmm. like mentally with like social media and shit. Like a lot of people's opinions become your opinion. You don't yeah. even know why. Like thinking back, like with the Kanye shit. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like think it's the free thinking shit, but not really. It's like mm-hmm. realize when some shit don't feel right to you, or it's not who you are, or it's not really your natural opinion. Yeah, and change it. You know what I mean, be yeah. you. Take your power back. That's yeah. what I'm gonna say. Y'all came with some good ass shit, boy. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say he gonna be like have conversation with some hoes. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'm gonna say live your yeah. best life. <laughs> 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 say that. <laughs> nah, but do I feel I feel like I don't know how to word it, but I'm gonna just say it. Yeah. Do everything that you possibly can do. If that makes sense Like travel Do it all Don't look back Let's not get old And you wish you would've did something mm-hmm. Just do that shit If you wanna go to Africa Fucking go Just make it happen If you wanna Whatever the fuck you wanna do If you wanna go Try to be the mayor Go try it Nigga the worst that can happen Is it doesn't happen But at least you tried And now you can say that you You gave it an effort When you get old You should have no regrets in life Straight up See that was deep, bro. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So as far as social media, how can people uh, connect with you, follow you? Um, Pornhub.com <laughs> backslash Squizzy Taylor. Ha! <laughs> with your boy? Say that. No. Uh, at DJ Squizzy Taylor on everything. Cash App Dollar Sign Squizzy Taylor. Um, Venmo the same thing. Uh, <laughs> everywhere, man. Just DJ Squizzy Taylor. S Q U I Z Z Y. Taylor. 
<laughs> yeah, we ain't posting this. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I expect that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man. let's make some noise for my man so Squizzy, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, yeah. Yeah. shit. Like yeah. this old podcast. I'm Graffiti, and I'm Davey. Skirt, and I'm Squizzy Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Say we out, nigga. We out, man. We out. <laughs>